Some people in Sherwood say their businesses are in jeopardy due to an upcoming road project. Now they're concerned about plans to change the intersection on Tualatin Sherwood Road near the Regal Cinemas and Albertsons. Chris Holmstrom has more on how owners are fighting back. This is the intersection people are talking about. Once construction starts here, this intersection will be removed and people will have a harder time accessing these small businesses. This is uh, convenient to be able to turn in here because I take my family to the movies here. But in just a few months, it'll be a thing of the past. This light is very important for pedestrians and the flow of traffic. Starting next year, Washington County will start construction on the Tualatin Sherwood Road project. The $12 million expansion will widen the streets in the area, and county leaders say it'll help with traffic flow and public safety. The project will also remove this intersection. That means drivers will not be allowed to turn left into or out of those businesses. I think it'll have an impact on the shopping center. I think people still have to use this as a thoroughfare. Local restaurants like Rose's Deli are concerned about the changes. They say by removing the intersection, it'll make it harder for customers. So if people are not coming to our restaurant, we're not going to staff our restaurant. They're going to lose hours. They're going to lose jobs. This is how we make a living. Managers here say they are working with the city and county leaders. They are hoping ODOT will approve a right turn from the 99 West. They say it'll give customers easy access to the plaza. And if ODOT would just simply grant a right in on 99, all the businesses here during construction phase can still flourish and have customers and an easy access. It just makes like it's a win-win for everybody. Businesses in the area plan on presenting their proposal to ODOT in the near future. As for construction, it's expected to start in January. Reporting from Sherwood, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Coin 6 News.